unbagging. I've compiled a few things here from probably the past three or four weeks of um, jaunts to my favorite thrift stores to look for jewelry. I hope that's what you like to look at. If it is, you've probably arrived at the right channel, so welcome in. Make yourself at home. And we're going to go a little bit and look at some jewelry and open some of these things. I probably won't go through all of them because it is quite a bit. But um, again, welcome in. Don't forget to subscribe if you love jewelry. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like jewelry. Don't forget to hit the bell so you never miss another video if you like jewelry. And we'll get started very soon. Let me say hi to a couple of friends that popped in. Looks like I see Gina, Emily, Joni, and Tanya. Thank you guys so much for being here. All right, let's get started. First place, I had heard about this place and I went at a crazy time. Um, I just decided to go check it out. It's on Lower Westheimer. If you're from Houston, you know what I mean by Lower Westheimer. It's a wonderful place. It is home to some wonderful thrift stores, quaint antique stores. I promise I will take you on a jaunt through there in the daytime one day. But I went to a place called Out of the Closet. And this is a place that... So I, it says it's been there 30 years and there was a there was actually an event there was some musicians in there and it was fabulous and this place funds AIDS um, benefiting health care foundation and it's called out of the closet and they had some really nice things in there but the music was a little loud and I was recording so please make make sure you um, watch that video coming shortly this uh, wonderful person was blowing into um, a clarinet to some wonderful music and there was drinks flowing and it was a lot of fun they asked me if I was going in for the event <laughs> it's like I didn't even know there was an event going on but I walked in at the right time and I found some wonderful trays for my jewelry I didn't bring those to show you tonight but look at this fabulous bracelet I picked up there it is brand spanking new and it's by Brahman the handbag fame who knew they made jewelry so i'm going to pull out a few things from this basket that's full of these mini bags and we'll go through a few of them and uh, like i said that's what i picked up there at that and let me show you a few other things we've gotten anyway who knew brahman made jewelry did you guys know i had no idea but i really fell in love with this bracelet it reminded me of a gucci that i found it is marked as snakeskin or faux mock croc or something. Now I can't open it. How do you open this thing? Well, I don't even think I... Well, oh my god. It's so cute. I'm going to have to figure it out. It was only $6. Can you believe that? I love it. But I don't know how to open it now. Probably, you probably have to press it. There it goes. Look, see it says Brahmin right there. And um, that was from out of the closet. And you know, it's funny about those places. A lot of times they're really trendy. All the young people go there and, you know, buy their, their clothing there. They have wonderful things. And I'm always afraid that it's going to be really outrageously priced. So I was super delighted that they were not. Even their clothing was very reasonably priced. And it was just a lot of fun being in there. Again, that's called Out of the Closet over on Westheimer. And it's pretty much in a row. It's so heavy. I love this. It's even got a little hallmark there. I, I didn't even know that Brahmin made jewelry. Anyway, um, it's on a, what they might call restaurant row or thrift store row. Because there must be about six or seven really trendy thrift shops with great names like out of the closet isn't that a great name <laughs> so check it out if you're ever in houston lower westheimer montrose area all right let's see here i found mickey mouse these were only three dollars these little mystery bags are amazing i really like them so let's see for being here i do appreciate hey, i didn't start with the rings of the day They're, oh i get this ring too this one I got at the Goodwill for $20. It's a vintage piece. 
I kind of like this. You know, it's kind of a typical design, Native American design. Very 70s, but I really love that rich blue turquoise on that. And I like the little tiny coral. Of course, it's unsigned. Actually, it looks like it almost has a scratch signature there. I'll have to check it out. By $20, of course, I grabbed it up. And then this is that spoon ring I found in the jewelry jar a couple of weeks ago. You have to forgive my hands. I don't know why they're so full of marker right now. And it has an S on it. And then I'm wearing another find from a jewelry jar. This has um, lapis and malachite. I got this gorgeous wraparound ring from Vanessa from one of her sales. And another wraparound ring here from another jar somewhere. All right, let's get started. What was in here? Heather, how are you? Laura, Cheryl, thank you guys. Kathy, appreciate you being here. If I don't mention your name or say hello, it's only because I want to show you jewelry. Oh, look at that. I have seen these often, but not like this. I don't know if that's damage in there, but it's so cute. Definitely a vintage floral brooch. That is really different. I like that. I might be able to touch that up with some white and enamel. Very cool. I really love these brooches. I used to have quite a collection. And then we have a little Mickey Mouse pin. And eh, kind of a contemporary, not a vintage piece, little brooch. But I bought it for the flower. That's a nice one. Yeah, wearing the Brahmin. Love that. That is really a cool bracelet. It feels so heavy. Oh, I was saying it reminds me of Gucci I found once in a jar. And it just it was just snakeskin like this. And it was very worn. Extremely. She got a good deal, and so did I. But it was, I mean, awful, awful condition. And she showed me a picture. She reconditioned it. I don't know how or what she did. And I think it was all the way in Australia that it went. And uh, she did an amazing job of fixing it. Yeah, nice. Just never know what people can do, right? All right. And again, these run usually no more than $5. Or I won't go more than $5 on them. And this looks, oh my goodness, I don't know what kind of stone or what. I guess it's some kind of bead. And it looks like they had $40 on it at one time. This is pretty. Thank you again, guys, for being here so late. Late night jewelry watching today. Looks like a, kind of a vintage piece. I don't know, it's got that little hook. That's interesting. It looks a little bit like... Um, Rhodochrosite, do you think? It's got a lot of green there on the main one. And then some of them look like um, like man-made beads. Let me know if I have a buzzing sound again today. I'm having so much trouble with this audio. I may have to buy a new mic or just quit using them and speak up. Because I keep getting like a buzzing sound and my husband said I should try plugging it in somewhere else with the mic all by itself, so I did that tonight, and I hope it remedied the problem. Let me know. Okay, I love, these look like marbles. $4 for this one. I really like this one too. How's everyone doing tonight? What are y'all up to? Look at these beautiful beads. Oh my gosh, they're gorgeous. Cool Sunday. Good, good, good. Hi, Dusty Leather and Lace. And Kimberly, thank you guys so much. Laura, Heather. Oh my gosh, I love red, first of all. But those remind me of my marbles that I used to play with as a kid. Oh wow, they're gorgeous. Look at the um, clasp on that too. That is just is red. Well, it's like nail polish red that I love so much. Oh, those are beautiful. Glass beads of some sort. I wish I knew more about beads. I need to get a bead book. These are just gorgeous. And they're knotted in between. They have some stations of silvery beads. 
as well as some donut shaped black ones. These are the kind you want to fiddle with. Yeah, a little stress relieving here, honestly. All right, let's see what else we have over here. Saving some of these bags. Oh yeah, I wore these the other day too. I opened this one. And I had bought this because I was going to send this to my granddaughter. <laughs> I'm still going to take it to her. It's just a little heart keychain. And I guess it was like $4 for all of them too. And it's one of these little fiddle ones. I love these. She had a shirt on the other day. She was showing me how it does this. Aren't these fun? So that's cute. And these earrings in my back. Is the internet acting weird? Let me read your comment. Is the internet acting weird? Am I back? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Uh, I just kind of said unable to connect. I'm going to go open the door just so I don't lose the internet. Not that it helps. I don't know what to do anymore with these stupid internet. Cat's going to come and crawl everywhere. But, uh, it doesn't crawl. I wish. It jumps and flies. Okay, I'm back. Am I back, really? How is the sound? How is the screen? How is the stream? Okay. That's fine, you think? Good. Quality is off with the video. Okay, I'm so sorry. Don't know what's going on with that. Did it, is it still blurry? I know it was unable to connect a minute ago. But it's okay now. All right, so these are Bobble Bar. Love these. No, Sugar Fix by Bobble Bar. So I guess Bobble Bar is the more expensive brand. I don't know. But they're not cheap. Look at that, $12.99. So that was a good deal. I love this too. This is a brooch and a pendant. I get, oh, it's Premier. I can see. Really pretty though. Some nice things, honestly. I think they're underrated. I really do. And look, it's even got a little locker, lock type mechanism there. Why do I have that pink streak on there? It's so crazy. Must have been from some tissue. It's better? Good, good. Okay. All right, we'll keep going then. I'm working on it, guys. I really am. I appreciate your patience. Do you hear any of this, the noise? Sometimes that, maybe it comes out in the recording. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to do some face-to-face -face videos, too, because I don't think you can hear it when I use my my laptop. All right, this one was, what, $4? It was all by itself. Cloisonne necklace. I love these. Kind of puffy. Got a butterfly. I can't tell what the other designs are. I think they're just flowers. Right? Hi, Lisa. By the way, a heads up, guys. I've run into this before, and I'm going to show it to you really quickly. And um, I've run into this black and gold. Have you seen that? Have you seen how they're using black and gold? The 14 karat gold, and they black it. it. Someone said it was a trend in Australia or Europe or somewhere. Well, I ran into this chain in that super bag. It was sterling, but it's actually 14 karat gold. And see how it's blackened? Not tarnished, it's literally blackened. And then I check the mark, and it's actually uh, 525. So that's 14K. So just keep that in mind. I tested it. Uh, I was already getting ready to test it for silver, and then I realized it was gold. So, yeah, that's what they're doing. And it really is interesting because it has a beautiful shine. Even though it's black, so you can see a little bit of the gold, it just shines like crazy and it's really weighty. And if you know gold, you know it's weighty and you know it's buttery. It is literally like silk in your hands. It's one of the ways you really quickly detect gold with those feelings, right? But anyway, just adds up for when you run into that stuff. Hi, Miss Pamela. 
Deborah, how are you? Thank you again, everyone who's here. Don't give it a thumbs up. Oh, I forgot to show you this ring. This is my Maximilian coins. Got that on eBay. She said it was sterling, but it's actually gold. Love those little mini coins. All right. I always forget to sh I show you my rings, and I realize I didn't show you all of them. <gasps> Sorry about that. Like butter. Absolutely nothing feels like gold. Remember that old ad? Nothing else feels like real gold. It's absolutely true. Absolutely the truth. Okay, I love this coin, whatever it is, but it was only $3. Let's see what is in here. Oh, nice. Look, look at that. Made with love, it says. <laughs> they're little faux coins, but they're so cute. I can't quite... Half dollar, one of them says. They're kind of copper, silvery, different colors. They are so cute. Let me see if I can read anything that it says on them. Aren't they darling? I love coin jewelry. I like the multi colors, too. I got a fabulous one with from Mylor Italy from Liz over at Makeup Zombie. And it has a array of colors. This one says Australia, 1981. And let me see what the coin says. But I'm sure they're just little faux coins. Yeah, they all say Australia, 1981. So I guess it was made in 1981. <laughs> Isn't it cute, though? And it says made with love. That's all it says on both sides. Made with love. Cool. I don't think it's anything but silver tone, but I love that. Let me get this bag. Oh, this is something I found at an auction a couple of weeks ago. Love this. Isn't that cute? I paid five for it, I believe. Great condition. I can't believe there's not a name on it. It's just gorgeous. I love things that are so different like that and so dimensional. Isn't it cute? This one begs to be on some beads. It really does. I think it would look awesome. I love that. I don't know if it's some kind of a... I guess it's supposed to be some kind of brush or something. Like a foliate of some kind. Very cool. Love that one. And, oh, I think I got this for the star earrings. Three dollars. Yes, these are gorgeous. Look at these. They're like little baguettes. Aren't those beautiful? Oh, I love them. I'm put them on here so you can see them. I'm looking at my pink stained hands. I don't know what I got on them. Look at those. Who can resist some rhinestone baguettes? I can't resist the stars, I'll tell you that much. 52 people in here. Thank you guys. So late and you're up with me. I appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And thank you all who joined me so late. Those of you who are new, thank you so much for subscribing. And if you haven't, please do so. And these are cute too. These came in there too. Some kind of glass bead, little gold dust around them or something. And of course, some undesirables. Not bad though. Look, it's kind of like a fake opal there. It looks like a little jelly opal. These are not bad. I don't mind a little tassel. I'll wash them. Cute. I love those fake opals. They're cute. Got all three of those in there. And then, oh, I got this because of the opal light in there. Opal light is so expensive. Your camera is having a hard time staying focused. Comes and goes. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. 
I'm so do you think it could be the tablecloth? Sometimes it's the tablecloth. That's another thing. I tried to eliminate some of them. <clears throat> Excuse me, some of the background for this video to see if that would help too, but I'm working on it. I'll just do a couple more so we can end it. Ah, oh, look at this though. Look at that opalite on that. Oh my gosh, that looks like a wedding piece, doesn't it? It could be the pattern on the tablecloth. Okay. Let me see if I can put something over it and see if that will help. But you just never know what it is sometimes. Things are always so strange. Let me put this over it. See if that helps. Just some simple linen there. Is that better? And then it sometimes it blurs away when I move away from it. Look at this darling piece. Wow. It's like a waterfall. And this is all opalite in here. That's awesome. Is it better? Oh, well, good, good, good. You bet it because the, tonight into the form. Okay, good. Good. Isn't that pretty, though? Yeah, I saw some things at Neiman's that I could not believe. They were little stretchy bracelets and simple pieces with opalite, and they were expensive. I'm talking $400, $500. So it is not a cheap <laughs> material, even though it's man-made. I love this design now. It's got a little not it's got a little adjustable. So if you want it shorter, very nice. Alright, so hopefully this cloth helped. Sorry about the trouble. I will try to go back to plain white and things like that. Oh, here's another rosary. I just put up this one. I actually had this one at my auction the other day because I found these at the same time, but I don't remember if I showed you this one. This is uh, quartz and the stations here are angel wings. And then this is another very unique rosary. And I think this was around the same price. Where's this? Oh, I bought these Monet. So, aren't these amazing? Look at these. These look like little barnacles or something. This rosary is very, very pretty. And it has one of those little pieces where you look inside of it and you see a little image. And I still haven't been able to see it because I'm so blind. So sometimes they'll put um, Mother Mary in there or the Christ figure or something. But I, I love it. It's just so beautiful. And these were in the little bags, too. I, don't, I think one was 3 or $4 as well as the other. And here's another one. This one's gorgeous. Look at that beautiful crucifix. Looks like it's on a nice bale there, too. Like the ones that you can open up. But look at those beautiful beads. Very, very pretty. So I've been finding a lot of beads like that there. Then I found these Monet. And these say genuine stone. So I'm not sure what the stone is. They're little clips. At first I thought they might be made in Korea. I believe they're vintage. I thought they might be some opals with very little flash. or You know, sometimes opals are so delicate they get damaged as well. And um, they get cloudy. You can't expose them to certain temperatures. I know I ruined an opal ring by washing my hair while I was wearing it. These are actually in that interesting only one capital letter. And almost, well, actually, it's written like this, Monet. That's exactly, I should save that. 
I need to save this little package because every time I try to describe the font on it, I can't describe it. And this is on the Hallmark. This is exactly the way it's marked. So maybe these are 90s. I don't know. Made in Korea, though. That reminds me of anything from the 70s. But they're super sweet. I like these. Okay. All right, so the camera and the stream is better. What about the sound? Thank you guys so much for your patience. I really hate putting you through this. I want to improve my my um, presence here on YouTube, and it, it seems to be getting worse these days. So I appreciate your feedback. Hey, Don, if you change your viewing quality 480, it should be able on. If you're on your phone, hit the top right of the video and hit them. Oh, you're, are you telling everyone else? I don't know. I just, I'm trying. I'm trying to improve on not having too many things plugged in. Four dollars. I'm not sure what this is, but it reminds me of the vintage Monet I had. I forgot what they called it, but it's in the book. There were beads though, so I'm not sure what this is. It may be a no name, but it just reminded me of it. So I really don't even know. You can't tell. That's why I call these mystery bags. You can't tell what they actually entail till you pull them out. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Who made this? New York. New York Ink Company. They make really nice jewelry. Them as well as Express. Aren't we impressed with Express? I am. I am constantly impressed with Express's jewelry. Oh, good. Thank you, Don. Oh, look how awesome. That looks like a vintage Monet piece or something. But it's New York, and it is enameled white, articulated all around. That is beautiful. I knew it was special. I knew it would be special. <laughs> I just couldn't tell what it was. You really can't. You really cannot tell in these bags. This is heavy, too. How are you, Miss Dawn? How's it going in Cali? I knew you'd be awake, you, you wonderful people in California. Look how gorgeous. It used to be your favorite store. Is it still open? I thought it had closed a while back, like two, a few years ago. Yeah, let me go back and say, hi, Miss Kathy. Morris, how are you? It's not the tablecloth. It's still blurry. Oh, my goodness. All right, color is okay. The pattern of the camera doesn't like it. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll keep trying. Um, and the sound was better. Did someone say the sound was better? Thank you guys for putting up with the glitch. I really That's what happens a lot, too, with the live video. So that's why I like to record some as well. All right, let's move on. Boy, there's a lot of nice jewelry out today, though. I'm impressed. There's a mother of, uh, I mean, an abalone and some pearls in here. Let's see what's in here. It closed, I know, yeah. That's what I thought. I remember people posting about it. <laughs> Everybody was nostalgic about it. Especially my, my younger friends, yeah, the 80s girls, remember them. Remember that store fondly. Look at this. Oh, it's one piece. <gasps> wow. These are some button pearls, freshwater pearls, very cool piece, 185 for the set, and I paid five bucks, nice, and it's got earrings, this is, it feels really, really rich and heavy, let's see if I can put it on here for you, look at that, one, is that three, five strands and these beautiful earrings too. I love the earrings. That's a nice one. I did not expect it to be this nice, honestly. Very pretty. You were hurt when it goes to. <laughs> Look at the clasp. Abalone clasp. And look, you can see the mother of pearl in the back of the abalone. Isn't that cool? Wow, that's a beautiful piece.
Very pretty. Nice luster on those pearls, too. $185 they wanted for this originally somewhere. Wow. All right. Let me see. He changed it to 40. Looks great now. Oh, that's interesting. Thank you for that tip, Miss Dawn. I appreciate it. All right. Let me pull out a couple of more so we can sell these next time at the auction. Well, this one was another one. I don't know if I showed it to everyone here, but I think I brought it to an auction, and I was really impressed with the the stones in it because there's jasper in here and something else and that even looks like malachite there but it's on this crazy little cord that needs to be washed and they just put wire they're just pretty much wire set here little coils of even some howlite there and it's just a necklace but it's so cute just a sweet little necklace there let me pull out a couple more bags. Now oh, here's an interesting one. Brooches. Um, Four dollars. Heather, how are you? Laura, thank you guys so much. Okay, three ninety eight for all this, and I fell in love with the cat. It's big. That's why I got it. Just oh my gosh, he's cute. He's a lightweight little I don't know what is it paper mache or something, but he looks like a Laurel Birch cat, doesn't he? Look how big he is. I love him. So so cute. Love the black and white color too. And then this is just a key ring. The initial on it R. Cute. And then this is a brooch. Oh, that's in nice condition. That looks like a trefari. Uh, those leaves look like trefari, don't they? Let me see. I don't see a mark, but let me. Do you see it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's right there. It is Trafari. No, no, it's not a Trafari. It says, hold on. That's the mark. I just had it in my peripheral here. Now I lost it. Roma. It's a Roma. Boy, it looks just like a Trafari. How pretty is that? And those pearls are beautiful. Very likely they're faux, but they sure look real to me. Very pretty. Okay, I love that. That was not a bad bag. More of these fun beads. Glass beads. This reminds me of a candy. Those are beautiful red beads. And then there's some yellow with flowers. <laughs> or I could give it to Robert, but he wouldn't use it. <laughs> right? I love this one. This is really pretty. All right. I don't know where I left my little necklace thing. I swear I'm sitting right here and it disappears right from under me. Okay, this is really, really cool. And now I want my my little display. I don't know where I put it. Because this is amazing. Look at that. Look at that. Chandeliers. Chandelier dingles. Who makes this? Let me see what this says. Suzette, no. Leslie, Leslie Dances, Dancy. That's what it says, Dancy's. D-A-N-Z-I-S, Leslie Dancy. That's what it says. 
going to bring my other display. How pretty is that? Have you guys heard of her? I never have. That's beautiful. I'm, I'm tending to think it might be missing a piece. What do you think? Four seems a little off. I don't know. It doesn't look bad, but it's just usually there's odd numbers in design. Right? Looks like it may have had something in the center there. It probably dropped it and broke it, but it's so beautiful. I love that. Yeah, this one's really nice. Guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. We really do appreciate that. Here's another rosary, I believe. Yes, another rosary. This one was five. Genuine stones on this one as well. Oh, this one's beautiful. This one is selenite, I believe. Is that how you say that? Selenite? That's a pretty one. Yeah. They were selling these for $35. Beautiful. I guess they're all selenite. All the beads are selenite. Is that how you say it? Selenite. I have a little Easter egg. Selenite. In my, little, in my little stash. Can you see that? See how beautifully that glows? That's what this is. I never heard of that stone either till I bought this egg. Again, from Makeup Zombie. <laughs> okay, so that's the beads there. Let me do one more. And I was hoping to get the one with the bracelet that I just thought was... But I don't know where I left it now. I'll just bring it back tomorrow. I know there was some with um, a bracelet that looked like silver inside, and I hadn't opened it yet. And now I can't find it. I must have put it somewhere else. But I've got a lot of jewelry to show you. I've been going to so many places. Look at this huge thing. This was $3. Look at this. First of all, this is beautiful. This is just a faux mother of pearl bracelet. Some kind of acrylic. It's so pretty though. And it was priced separately at three. Okay, this was from the Goodwill. And the whole package was $2.99. This was not from another store. Look at this interesting necklace though. Very chunky. These are acrylic all acrylic. This is metal. I thought this was really cool. It's short too. I think that's different. Very nice. Now let's see what else I'm going to show you here. This one. Get these bags over here. Cloisonnet. Gotta get the cloisonnet when I see it. are beautiful and these sell really well for me especially the vintage variety they're just so well made so we have these they're cutouts and the shell those are beautiful all these were in there and then these well, these are really shells here how cute Genuine shells and some kind of moon. Oh, look at that. A little moon bead on there. But I really bought them for the cloisonne. Love those. Hope you can see that as well. They're darling. Especially the shells. I've been wearing these small earrings to work every day. Because you can't really see earrings when you're wearing a mask anyway. <laughs> but I have to wear earrings. I feel naked without them. So these fit the bill, 
for now that we're wearing masks. Love those. And this is another. I think this is another rosary. That looks like a million. Two dollars on this one. Yeah, I bought up the rosaries that day for sure. It's a nice crucifix. These are stones. I'm not sure what. They're beautiful. They're tangerine. They're cold. These are acrylic. The roses are acrylic. Image of Christ there. And the enamel. Yeah, I had to buy those. Lots of people ask me for rosaries, so I do bring them to auction. I don't sell here directly on the channel, but if you ever see anything in a haul, please email me. And I do sell on Facebook on Saturdays. I have auctions over on Facebook. Okay, these oh, these are gorgeous. Look at this. I did not even expect these beads. These are those beads that have those little craters or whatever you call them. Somebody gave me the exact name to these beads. And you can see the little jerseys inside. How cute is that? Hope it doesn't pop. And then it has a jersey, a geode or whatever in there. I like the way they did that in silver. You usually see those in gold. Isn't that pretty? You don't have to wear masks anymore. You still wear them because I'm used to not getting other people's gear. <laughs> yeah. People have been wearing them long before they made us wear them. Here's some tiger eye. This one looks a little bit, I don't know if it's got some wear on that rubber or what. Tiger eye, some kind of metal, and then of course the, the other volcanic rock stuff on there. Those are nice. And then these, I just fell in love with the colors. I know they're kind of folkloric and Asian. But I love the red and green in these, and I will wear them. I really like these. Look how cute those are. Oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. I fell in love with these. I had, is that Juke Mars breaking something? Mars has an affinity for my makeup brushes. See, that's what, he's, that's what he took down to play with the makeup brush. Oh, my gosh. Oh, look at these. These are cute, too, but I like the hoops even better. These are amazing. Oh, my gosh. These are glass beads down here. These are all glass. Yeah, I like these a lot. And I will wear them or sell them or both. Very cool. Another bracelet. I can't believe I cannot find the other one. I must have put it somewhere. If there was one that looked like it had... Well, it was. I saw that it was sterling from the bag, but I didn't open it. But I must have put it somewhere, or maybe Mars moved it. He's always up here causing mayhem. This is another kind of um, Asian-inspired bracelet. Sometimes these are so small, I can't put them on, but this one has that wonderful trombone-style closure. And this one actually twists, so it's threaded. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Look at this. Beautiful. Literally have to open it like that and put it on and then close it back. Oh, that's a beautiful one now. These are all clear rhinestones and kind of pearls. Yeah, they do look clear, colorless. They almost look like they have a tinge of lavender, but I can't quite tell. But that's a gorgeous bracelet. And I've mentioned before that even the costume... Asian, South Asian inspired jewelry or, or design jewelry 
sells for really high even though it's costume can you imagine what the real deal well I have bought I, I helped my boss when he was getting married uh, he wanted me to go pick out the jewelry help him pick out some jewelry for his bride and he's Pakistani so that was a lot of fun and very interesting and very expensive jewelry all right, so that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to try to find that bracelet that I was so anxious to open, but I think I may have moved some of the little bags around. And it may be somewhere else, but there's always more jewelry. I definitely have a lot of jewelry jars to show you very soon. Come back for another one. Stay tuned for when I hit my 15K this coming, hopefully by the end of March, because we're going to have a big celebration. And I hope you join me then. And I will talk to you soon. Have a blessed week. I appreciate your time.